All right, today we've learned about Roy G. Biv and his colorful spectrum of light. We are going to create a pattern using the Roy G. Biv colors. The first thing you always need to do is write your name and your teacher's name nice and neatly on the back, just right there in the middle. On the front, we're gonna use these fun tools. These are paint sticks. You're gonna start with the first color in the color wheel or the color spectrum, which is red. The red and orange kind of look similar, but you can tell. If you have trouble telling, let me know. These are almost like glue sticks. You're gonna take the top off. You don't wanna roll it up too much, just a little bit. And you're gonna start on the end with just an interesting kind of a line. And I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna make that a little bit thicker, making sure that I get it nice and dark all the way off the edge of the paper. Okay, so now I've got my red. Now I've got to put that back on. I'm going to go back and use my next color in the color spectrum, which is orange. I'm going to go right next to my red one. I'm going to make another wavy line. And I'm going to fill that space in. I'm overlapping my red a little bit so I don't have any of the white spaces showing. And it kind of looks almost like a a wave and an ocean. Put that lid back on. My next color is going to be yellow. So I'm going to make another wavy line and I'm just going to fill in those spaces. I'm overlapping my orange a little bit. It's kind of neat when you see the colors overlap. All the way off. Then my next color is going to be green. Making another green line. Ooh, that green looks really pretty next to the yellow. I'm just going to go right next to that line I just drew. Just going to make that green one a little bit thicker. All the way off to the edge. Put the lid back on. Now there's a couple different blues. There's blue and then there's indigo. So I'm going to turn it a little bit so I have it up. I'm going to make my blue one right next to it. I'm almost finished with my first pattern. Make sure that you get those white spots. So if I'm going along and I notice that it didn't quite cover up some part of my color, go back and get those white spots. Now this dries pretty quickly, but you might get a little bit on your, on your hands. And then my indigo one is this dark blue. The dark blue and the purple kind of look alike, but you'll be able to tell. If you can't, let me know and I'll help you out. So my indigo is going to be right next to my light blue. My line has changed a little bit. It's still kind of a wavy line. If you want to just do straight lines, that's okay too. And then I'm going to do my violet, which is my last color in the color spectrum. Oh, this one doesn't look like it has one in there. All right, so this one is my violet. And then I'm going to start repeating that pattern. So I'll start back with red after I'm done with my purple one, and my violet one. And I already started this one a little bit more. You can see I've got my purple, red, and I'm going to repeat. So I have a yellow one is going to be next. Maybe I want to make a really big yellow yellow one. And then my next color will be green and I can look at my pattern now. So I'm going to go all the way to the end until I don't have any more paper showing. And then when you're finished, you'll raise your hand and you'll give it to me. I'll continue to work on it until this is finished. Make sure that you raise your hand so I can double check that you've got all your white spots. And even like this one, I probably could get that little teeny space on the corner there. I might go back on this one and repeat my pattern right here. So purple would be coming before red. I might just fill that space in all with purple if I want to or I can just 
it a little bit there. And then I'd have to look and see what comes before purple, which would be that indigo color. I can fill that space in too. Make sure you're sharing these. I want to hear nice words being used. If someone has a color that you're needing to use, make sure you say please and thank you. And it's going to be a beautiful, beautiful rainbow.